Hi everyone, today I'm going to give you three tips for how to deal with a large, swollen, either spot, blemish or pimple, whatever you call it. So I've wanted to film this for a while because I have had requests about it. Obviously when you're concealing something which is a colour, when it's red or something, it's quite easy. But when it's swollen, it's more difficult. So today's the day because I do have a swollen blemish. I don't know if you can see it here, but it, under the skin it goes from about there to there. It's very attractive. I came up at the weekend and I was freaking out because I had a really big event day before yesterday and it was at its largest then. It's actually gone down quite a bit. Um, it's one of those that I don't think will ever come to a head, but it's just solid under the skin. And I think from the side, if you can see, it's like, it's like a, mount, a mini mountain. Um, and I knew that I had this really big event to do and I was gonna be up close with beauty journalists and all these people. And um, I just thought, well, I got some really good tactics for this and I really want to share them with you. So before we get on to step one, I am going to do my foundation. I'm gonna do a light coverage of foundation and then we can get to it. So step one, light and shade. I have my foundation on and I also have concealer under my eyes and a little bit around my mouth. You can see I have my spot here. Now because it's more swollen than coloured, what it's doing is it's creating a little shadow around it. So it tends to be darker underneath. And I'm going to show you how um, the surface of it, I'm going to adapt my concealer. This is the usual colour of concealer that I would use. So if I was doing like little like marks and things around here where the skin should we say is more flat when I blend them in they look okay or say even for here if I was concealing something which has color to it but it's flat now if I was to use that same color this is actually um, it's S uh, SC2 if I was to use the same color here to cover this and pat that in because it's coming towards us it's swollen what I'm actually doing by using the same color is I'm highlighting it so I'm bringing the surface of it forward which is not what I want to be doing so I'm actually going to do the opposite I'm going to go and use a darker concealer on the surface of it and a lighter one just around the outside so this one I would never use this color it's way too dark just going to pat this in all around the front of it. Now I need to go back in with the light shade to lift that shadow underneath it. Almost like tracing, erasing that shadow with light underneath because it's casting its own shadow. It's that big. Now before you do anything, the next step is the most important and this is about shine and matte and what we need to do is make this matte. Even if you're going for a nice glowy makeup, the area that has the swollen blemish needs to be matte. And then buff it off. And then I'm going to go in with a tiny brush and a little bit of contour powder light contour powder which I'm going to put again onto the surface so to counteract the fact that this is now very matte just in this area I'm going to bring some shine and what shine does is it really shows the three-dimensional shape of something which is why we don't want any shine on any swollen blemishes or anything we're trying not to show but we do want extra shine in other areas to divert the eye now if the blemish that you're trying to conceal is in this area don't put any highlighter near it don't put any shine near it you need to keep it matte now because you're not going to be able to actually get rid of it completely now we're going to employ some attitude and diversion tactics diversion tactic number one depending on where the blemish is so mine's here so I don't want people I want to draw attention to this section of my face so I'm not going to put a bright lip on or a bright glossy lip which will make 
everyone look here when I'm talking. I'm going to make my eyes look the focus of attention. So I'm going to put on maybe some eyelashes, lots of mascara, maybe even some shiny, glossy shadow on my lids, which will give a lot of dimension, a lot of shape and a lot of attraction to this area so that no one is going to be looking down here. So the next thing to discuss is lighting. Now, obviously, if you've got something which is swollen and is coming out, then bad lighting is going to emphasize it a lot. So we've tried to minimize the impact by lightening the shadow underneath and darkening the surface which is coming forward. But if I was to go and stand next to a window now and be lit side on, you would get that shadow again. So not that you can control lighting, but if you're going into a situation, say it's a date or something, and you see that in a restaurant there's some lighting which is maybe overhead, which is really unflattering lighting, just make sure you don't sit in that seat just move yourself along. Anything that is either hitting you really hard from above or really hard from the side is going is not going to be favorable to you. So it's best to avoid that kind of lighting if you can. Obviously, we can't always, but if you can or if you've got a big meeting and you're able to sit facing daylight particularly, it's great because then everything is coming forward. But you've also got your eye makeup and something shiny and something fabulous up here. So the other thing to do is to be very confident. So if you're very engaging and chatty and making eye contact all of the time, people will be less likely to look at other areas of your face. So they'll be more likely to stay locked into your eyes. And if you're engaging and you're talking and you're being very bright and um, very vivacious and very talkative, they will stay with you, believe me. They're not gonna be looking around slowly, analyzing any other area of your face. You can't completely get rid of a swollen spot, you just can't because it's an object. It's there, it's three-dimensional, it's a thing. But you can definitely conceal it and the rest of it is all about confidence. Just be engaging, keep the contact with your eyes, be fabulous and just make sure that you you know you can own it. Don't worry about the spot. You are, you're, you're better than that. And it's not something that's gonna be around forever. So just say to yourself, no, I look good, I feel good, I'm engaging and um, just go for it.